Leaf stage is an important tool in grazing management and can be used to identify when a paddock is ready to be grazed. The optimum time to graze is between the two and three leaf stage of regrowth. This is when maximum growth can be achieved. Graze earlier if canopy closure occurs. A ryegrass tiller has three live leaves. New leaves are produced at a rate varying from six to 10 days in spring and 20 to 35 days in winter. Leaf emergence rate is driven by temperature and moisture availability. The new leaf is the only one growing. The older leaves finish their growth at the time the new leaf appears. After the three leaf stage, the older leaves die, resulting in wastage of the feed. Feed quality falls as the dead material builds up in the base. Ryegrass plants consist of a number of tillers. Tillers are important for assessing leaf stage, working out leaf emergence rates, and for setting grazing rotation length. You need to select vegetative tillers as opposed to reproductive tillers. And you can tell when a tiller is becoming reproductive when it starts to develop bumpy nodes along the stem. Select six to 10 tillers from across the paddock. These tillers need to be parent tillers with a remnant leaf. The remnant leaf is the last leaf grazed and can be identified by the blunt end on the tip of the leaf. The other thing you will notice on the parent tiller is the daughter tillers growing off the side of the stem. Don't use these for assessing leaf stage, just remove them. Now the remnant leaf tells us that the tiller has been grazed. Remember, you can't assess leaf stage if you don't have a remnant leaf. A ryegrass tiller will only produce one new leaf at a time. The new leaf will only emerge once the last leaf is fully grown. When counting leaves on the tiller, start with a remnant leaf. The remnant leaf can be counted according to size if it is half or as long as the oldest leaf. Check for the new leaf. The new leaf tells us that the oldest leaf is fully grown and therefore can be counted as one leaf. The new leaf is a quarter of the fully grown leaf. The remnant is three quarters of the fully grown leaf. Add the remnant and the new leaf together to make one leaf. The tiller is therefore at the two leaf stage. In this example, you will notice the remnant leaf is less than half the length of the longest leaf and therefore should not be counted. The appearance of the new leaf tells us that the longest leaf is fully grown and therefore can be counted as one leaf. This tiller is at the one leaf stage. In this example, the remnant leaf is less than half the length of the longest leaf and therefore should not be counted. The new leaf is half the length of the longest leaf and tells us that the longest leaf is fully grown. We can count the new leaf as half a leaf. This tiller is at the one and a half leaf stage. In this example, the tiller has a remnant leaf and three long leaves. Start with the remnant. As the remnant is less than half the length of the longest leaf, it shouldn't be counted. The emergence of the new emerging leaf tells us that the three long leaves are fully grown. Therefore, this is a great example 
of a tiller being at the three leaf stage. Okay, in this example, there is a parent and daughter tiller. Again, remove the daughter tiller as we don't use these to assess leaf stage. Identify the remnant leaf, and in this case, the remnant is the same length as the oldest leaf, and therefore can be counted as one leaf. The appearance of the new emerging leaf tells us that the oldest leaf is fully grown, and therefore can be counted as one leaf. In this example, the tiller is at the two leaf stage. In this example, the remnant leaf is over half to three quarters of the fully grown leaf. The new emerging leaf is about a quarter of the fully grown leaf. Together, we can add the remnant and the new leaf to make a leaf. Therefore, the tiller is at the two leaf stage. We can work out leaf emergence rates by dividing the number of days since the last grazing by the number of leaves on the tiller. In our situation, it's been 40 days since the paddock was last grazed. So divide the number of days by two, and it gives us a leaf emergence rate of 20 days. <laughs>